very quickly we're about to share with you a very very exciting video on your screens The video that you're looking at right now is of the Pragyan rover rolling out of the Vikram lander. Remember the Vikram lander made a soft landing on the south pole of the moon on Wednesday evening. India became the first country to land a spacecraft near the lunar south pole. ISRO is putting out these videos as you can see on your screen. Let's go over to my colleague Ritu for more context. Ritu, I believe that the Vikram lander actually has some of the most advanced cameras that we've been able to put out into space at all. So all of the images, all of the videos we get from it are going to be very exciting. Can you bring us more details about this particular video? Well, so this is another video that has been put out by the ISRO right now of how exactly the rover rolled out of the lander. So yes, we do know that how the rover uh, was in the belly of the lander and we were all waiting for that moment as well, which took place just after a couple of hours of the soft landing of uh, uh, the lander on the lunar surface and right now we are seeing this visual of how exactly that smoothly that the uh, rover had a uh, you know a walk basically that we can see now and now this will be doing a moon walk that we really uh, in the coming days we will see with those you know scientific experiments that will be carried out by the rover and then providing all the data related to what exactly is present and in what quantity it is also present and what are the crucial elements as well on the a south pole of the moon so that is really going to help isro and india in the future so yes that's the new video now that is put out and but this particular video has been captured by the camera of uh, the ladder the, the lander in fact as we can see how clearly uh, the uh, the wheels of the rover as well that can be seen very in a zoom uh, in, in a very uh, in a clear manner that one can really see so yes uh, we will be getting to see more such uh, videos and images that will be captured by the lander and uh, uh, the ro in, in, in future that the rover also will be carrying out those elements. Remember, uh, the, the, what the ISRO is now expecting is that a lot more uh, data needs to be collected when the rover will be going around uh, in a way that to collect those crucial elements of the thermal properties, also the ions, the proteins, the oxygen, the hydrogen, the level of the ice cubes that are uh, the, uh, the ice uh, that is present on the moon as well. Though we knew, do know that it's called as the dark side of the moon, but India is the first uh, country to now explore the south pole of the moon. Okay, just stay with us, please, Ritu. I want to show for our audiences on the screen right behind me that video, and we'll come back to you. To the mission center back in India. Now the Vikram lander as we told you has more payloads on it and one of those payloads is actually from NASA. So there are a number of payloads sitting on Vikram lander but only two that are on the rover that's actually rolled out and is touching the moon's surface. And these Earth days, as we said, 14 lunar days is the amount of sunlight that they're going to have. So if you take 14 Earth days, it equals one lunar day. All of these instruments can only last for one lunar day. But scientists have repeatedly told us the hope is it might actually stretch out further. My colleague Harish is with us. Let's go over to Harish to understand more. Harish, tell us, this is something we've heard scientist after scientist say that possibly after the end of that one lunar day, temperatures will drop to a level where it might be hard for some of these instruments to carry out their experiments. At the same time, scientists have said they're hoping for different. They're hoping these instruments might actually survive. Can you bring us context? Yes, if you look at the kind of temperature uh, that uh, the surface is likely to have uh, when the lunar day ends and the lunar night begins, uh, it is said to be anywhere around minus 230 degrees. Uh, 
some of these instruments not uh, might not be able to survive that kind of a low temperature is the fear but this row remember is saying that perhaps there is a chance that we will be able to kick start the uh, entire lander module once again uh, they've shown that their design and their uh, onboard system can survive beyond their, beyond uh, what they've been designed for for example uh, the chandrayaan 2 the orbiter has been going on for more than what it's been designed for similarly with chandrayaan 1 as well and they're hoping this time round that would be the case uh, but they are making it very clear that that is the best case scenario but their ideal design is for 14 earth uh, days that is one lunar day and they would be able to complete all these uh, payloads would be able to complete their scientific experiments by then and anything that comes after that perhaps is a bonus Harish, can you also tell us, because we've just told our audiences there are two payloads on Pragyan uh, and then there are more payloads on the Vikram lander, but there's a lot of confusion on exactly what these payloads are supposed to do. What kind of data are they sending back? Are they actually able to pick up samples of the moon's surface or not? Is it just images? Clarify all of that for us. Well, uh, both the payloads on the rover and uh, as well as uh, the lander will not be collecting samples as such. Uh, there are elements like uh, a spectroscope which will also look at the uh, elemental composition of the lunar surface, uh, the lunar soil. Uh, remember, there are two payloads on rovers. Both of it will be looking at the chemical and the element composition of the lunar soil. That is what two uh, uh, payloads on the rover would be doing. And one of the main reasons why it has been put up on a rover is to ensure that these experiments can be carried out at a site that is slightly away from the lander because uh, the fear within ISRO is that if these samples or if these experiments are conducted right where the lander has landed there is a possibility of some sort of a contamination uh, that might have happened because of the landing process or any sort of a element uh, getting contaminated because of the lander and the landing process that's why both these payloads are on the rover Remember, rover started the mobility uh, activity yesterday, so it has moved slightly away from where uh, the lander has landed. So it will carry out experiment in a region a few hundred meters away from the lander, and uh, it will send the data first to the rover, and the rover uh, to the lander bigger part, and then the lander would then transmit the data to the extract center here in Bengaluru, uh, which the scientists will analyze. Remember, yesterday you had Somnath in an exclusive interview to CNN News 18 saying that uh, the data that comes in will be first analyzed by ISRO and Indian scientists and only much later after a waiting period that data would be given to the world uh, freely for further research. So that's the kind of plan that ISRO has right now. Uh, there are three other payloads on the ladder. They will largely look at the seismic activity in the region where uh, this is landed. They'll also look at uh, the thermal activity on the lunar surface. That's the kind of uh, experiment the payload on the lander would be doing. Let me ask you, Harish, this is a question some of the audience members have actually asked online too. What happens, say these instruments last beyond that 14-day period, uh, the 14 days on Earth, say they last for another 10 more days, 12 more days, what happens after that? Do the instruments remain non-functional on the lunar surface? Yes, uh, they will be non-functional. Uh, remember, when the lunar night sets in, uh, there is no energy. Uh, the, the sunlight is not falling in the region where this lander has landed. Uh, so the solar panels uh, will not be able to generate any energy. So the systems will shut off. Uh, after that, the ISRO will have to wait for the next lunar day. And once the sun uh, sunlight falls in this region, uh, ISRO will try to kickstart both the lander and the rover. Then they will have to check the parameters if all the fun all the systems on board are functioning properly. Once that's confirmed, perhaps ISRO would like to once again use some of these payloads. Uh, that will be a bonus in both in terms of research and how long uh, these systems, both the lander and the rover, all right. Will can last. I that's can I just plan. ask you to stay with us?